Hello everybody, um, today I am at, well, including the title as always, Wellington Rocks. Um, Wellington Rocks is named after the hotel, that uh, Wellington Hotel, which was up, sort of, I'm thinking it's that way actually, yeah, it must be, I'm trying to think, yeah, Mount Ephraim, blah, 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 that way. Um, it's really weird actually, I was driving up, I've got to tell you a personal story, so I didn't realise today how significant this place actually is for me, until I sort of, sort of did one of these sort of, realizations of looking out onto the common itself and sort of thinking oh that's there and that's there so brief bit of history before we actually take a look at them um two probably the most life-changing events of my early life actually happened within about well not even a mile away from each other really and actually weirdly enough this is kind of equidistant to both places so let me explain first off so I'll tell you a story quickly. Um, normally, I'm not this sort of personal and stuff, but actually, it's quite interesting for me. Whilst I'm sitting lamenting about life, holding a camera up. So, Tumbridge Wells Forum is over here. Well, actually, I'll show you. Finger of Doom time. So, this is Wellington Rocks, as you can see. Um, Tumbridge Wells Forum, Finger of Doom, is about roughly over there. High Rocks officially high rocks if i turn the camera over you see where the cricket pavilion is it's literally finger of doom just behind there now why is that significant to you dan well two are probably the most significant bits of my history my history came from there so high rocks is where i did my rock climbing course when i was a teenager and tom joe's forum is where i played one of my first ever gigs and of consequence, it basically decided what what sort of um, where I was going to go really. So my first choice was that I was going to be a professional musician, or I was going to be an outdoor activities instructor. So they were actually my two jobs before I sort of got into the job that I do now. So I chose the professional music side of things, <laughs> and I left the actual outdoor activities instructor thing on the back burner, and I sort of did all my certificates in outdoor activities instructor when I was quite young I was really fortunate actually but yeah it's crazy to sort of think the significance of sort of saying actually those two locations literally I could have I chose one out of those two and that could have led to either either so I could have been an outdoor activities instructor or I could have been a professional musician I chose to be a professional musician strangely enough and the history side was always the thing I was as you probably know I was always going to geek out over anyway but yeah so to think that Wellington Rocks itself has probably got the most significance because you're sort of thinking well really what's actually important about that well if you when we were when I was a teenager way back when we used to chill up here at Wellington Rocks uh, on a probably like a really nice day like this although it probably would have been in the evening in fact it's quite early in the morning this morning although it's uh, stupidly busy still um and that's where we would used to chill out. So we'd see lots of different people, as you can imagine, in Tunbridge Wells, because it's always got a mixture of variety. Um, and it was one of these places, like, even though my love of history and everything else was kind of here, it was just an amazing rock outcrop that was just kind of cool to hang out. Do you know what I mean? I used to, used to sort of spend my time between here and Maidstone, really, a personal bit of history. There. I'm, God, I'm telling you a lot here. And then there, if I pan around, kind of if you think about it so Tom George Forum's down there and then over there is um, High Rock so there you go let's go let's have a look properly right should we go have a nosy just realized I look back at that video my god my eyes are like really bad it's really early in the morning hay fever again has got the better of me this summer and I've seemed to have aged at least 10 years anyway Let's go rock climbing. That's a joke, by the way. So, this is lovely sandstone, which if you've seen in previous videos, um, I've been pretty much to all of them now, around this area, and here we are. This alien landscape in the middle of Kent. Well, not in the middle of Kent, actually. It's between, well, it's Tumbridge Wells, so it's on the border of East Sussex. the lovely graffiti that we have over there. And the biggest outcrop, the, the highest point actually here, 
on Tunbridge Wells. Tommy's had a fire. Just amazing to see really like how over time the weather has eroded most of this and made it into the the outcrop that it is. Because it is an outcrop, it's a collection of sandstone. How cool is this? So I came here early because I realised that it's the high of summer and there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be walking their dogs. However, I did not realise how popular it was, even in the morning. Because I've normally come here in sort of like the late summer evening, you know, to do what teenagers used to do. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway. It's quite tricky trying to do this and... If I'd stack that, YouTube gold everybody, YouTube gold. So, because it's quite dry today, it has been dry for a while, what we can do is we can do this. So, with my lovely knees, we can, we can feel how rough this is. And in fact, if it was wet, it would sort of go very greasy and slimy. So, if we look down, with sandstone particularly, try and do it without my shadow. So, this is very coarse and it's very, See, the fallacy about, not fallacy of sandstone, sandstone is actually quite strong when all clumped together, but however, when it's wet, it goes very, very greasy and slimy, so it's, it's kind of very exciting to sort of climb <laughs> when it's wet, because you sort of like, you'll be slipping your ass over the face most of the time, but it's still got this sort of like, coarse sort of texture to it, which gives it a, still a little bit of grip. Um, but what I love about this place is it just takes me back to being a teenager. I mean, I've not been here on purpose, by the way, because I I think with anything, when you're younger, you, when you get to a certain age, I think the idea is you try not to reminisce too much because you, you sort of dilute the memory of what you had. But for me, I haven't been here in 10 years. I was trying to, well, I was working out the other day, easily 10 years. It's just, it's just a beautiful place. The parking over there is free. Can you see that parking over there with the car's eyes free? That's where I parked my car. Obviously, when I was a kid, we used to try to think, actually. We used to catch the... What did we do? So when we were gigging, obviously, we'd drive up. And obviously, or we'd get our parents to drive because that's how rock and roll we were. But when we were younger, what was we doing? Probably catch the train in and then get the bus, I think. Yeah. Right, so next video I'm going to be down there because I can't hold the camera and climb at the same time. So, see you in a minute. So, um, standing at the back of Wellington Rocks now, had to get down, didn't really want to sort of stack it while I was holding the camera. And this is the back part of it. And it sort of like splits off in here. You can see people have been having a fire and whatever. We've got these, been writing graffiti and uh, charcoal bits of wood, which is always a good thing. It's a little bit windy today, which kind of annoyed me actually. But, we've got a boulder in here, look at that. Broken glass, which is very stupid and dangerous. Then looking up. So you can see where the water sort of eroded it and sort of made these sort of like little uh basically it seems like big upon little rock really the fact that over time water has sort of slowly eroded the sandstone usual spiders lovely 
see if we can get up. Oh. The camera work's going to look amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay. Let's try and do this. I'm going to get up. Oh. I wonder if I can... Is it getting up? It's a lot easier than... Maybe going down. Um, do you climb on that one? Yeah, okay. Again, not recommending by any means that you do this. Let's try and grab hold of that one. Oh, did it. And then back up. Damn the wind. Sorry if that's going to come out, I don't know. But yeah, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> right. Let's go round. Oh, there we go. Wind stopped. So yeah, that was Wellington Rocks, everybody. Hope you really enjoyed it. Come down, check it out for yourself. Um, I love my sandstones, obviously. Who doesn't? How cool is that? So, yeah, I love it. it just takes me back. I think I'm gonna have a couple of few minutes to myself reminiscing, trying to probably one of the more better times of my life, really. And yeah, there you go. Let's just have a quick film round. So like I said, this is the main alcove okay, thing. Thanks as always for watching. Take care. See you later. Bye. Dogs. <laughs> Bye.